Uh, hey guys, uh, this is Zal. Uh, I'm coming at you with a video to help you guys out with the Desmos component of our latest problem set. Okay, so in this latest problem set, we are trying to create this model of perfect competition that we had in class. Okay, you'll remember that in class we derived these expressions and we made some assumptions about the number of firms and about the demand side of the market. And at the end of that, you know, we had this quantitative model of supply and demand where I could, you know, look at what the price was uh, and what the market quantity was. And I could very easily, for example, change the number of firms, change the wage, change the number of consumers on the market. And I could see how, uh, how our market is affected by those changes. Okay. Now, uh, the problem set itself runs you through the derivation of this model. Okay. Um, but I know not, a, not all of you guys are as familiar working with Desmos, so I just wanted to um, have an additional step here and, and show you guys, okay, what do I do once I'm putting the model into Desmos, okay? Um, so here I have uh, the expressions that you're going to get once you reach the point where you're ready to go into Desmos. Okay, now you go, well, aren't I giving you the answers? Well, it's okay because you still have to show all the steps of the derivation, okay? So you won't get credit if you just, you know, take this expression, put it on the problem set, and then, and then graph it in Desmos. So I want to see all of the work, okay? So I'm, not, I'm fine showing you uh, what these expressions are. So the question is, how do I take these and, and plot them in Desmos? Okay, so let me show you. So um, I am going to go ahead and create a new uh, graph. Okay. And to stay organized, I'm actually going to start off by creating a folder, and I'm going to name this folder Market Supply. Okay. Then uh, I'm going to create a new expression under this uh, folder. So to, to, when you make an expression to move it into the folder, what you do is you drag it okay, until it's up in, inside the folder. So now this is in the Market Supply folder. Um, and then I'm going to take my Market Supply curve here. Notice that this has been solved for price. Okay. It's important to solve the expression for price because we want to graph price on the vertical axis. And basically, I just want to type this expression into decimals. Okay, so I want to say P sub M. Now you go, how do I do the subscript? You use an underscore. Okay, P sub M of Q is equal to 2WQ over NSA squared. So 2WQ over number of firms, ns times a squared. Okay? Now, these things, the wage, number of firms, and a, they're all parameters of our model. So we want to add sliders for all of those. So I just want to say all. Okay? And there it is. Notice we have our nice market supply. Here. Okay? Now, I simply want to do the same thing with the market demand. So I'm going to put in a folder. I'm going to call this market demand. And then I'm going to insert the expressions here. Okay, the expression here. So this is going to be market demand P sub M of Q. And that's going to be equal to the number of consumers times BI over Q. So the number of consumers N sub D times BI divided by Q. And again, I'm going to add sliders for all of those parameters. Okay? Okay, now you'll note that right now um, not much is going on on this market because we don't have very many consumers. Okay, but in our problem set I've specified what values I want you to set these parameters to. Okay, so you want to go over to the wage and set these values equal to, okay, what did I say? Um, 12 for the wage, 20 for the level of technology, and then I think 100, yeah, 100 for the number of firms. Yeah. Okay, now you'll note, okay, well, I put in those parameters, our, our supply curve disappeared. Where is it? Well, it, it's just that the scaling is very weird, okay? You can see that basically if I stay at this uh, scale, uh, my supply curve is very close to the x-axis, okay? So what I want to do here. Um, is I want to increase, um, I want to basically zoom in uh, to 
my uh, on my y axis. Okay. So in other words, what I want to do here is I want to say, okay, let's go to our graph settings. Let's go to our y axis. Okay. Right now it's going from zero to seven. Let's have it go from zero to zero point one. Okay, well now I can see my supply curve a little bit more closely, and uh, you can even adjust this uh, more if, uh, if you find that it's helpful. Okay, okay so that should, that should give you the basics of how to put this model into Desmos. Now later on in the problem set, we're, I'm going to be asking questions like, okay, well let's say I vary the number of firms, let's say I vary the number of consumers, etc., etc., how does the market change? Well, you can answer those questions simply by manipulating this model uh, in decimals.